What? Talk about what we're going to do. Oh, well, let's, let's do it. Don't talk about it. Be about yeah, it. don't talk about don't it. Be about it. it. Look, uh, today's agenda. On today's we're gonna, episode. We're going on today's episode of Hunt the Front. We're going to get the body off this thing. Okay. We're going to get the rear end unhooked. We're going to, you know, look at the himes and the trailing, trailing my harms and, and all that and all that and such. And then we're going to put together this. Uh, oh, yeah. Santa called me. He said he's running a little bit behind. It's okay. Everything he's told me, he said, if you got time, you know, I'd like for you to put this together for Andy. I'm running a little bit behind. If you can handle it, that'd be great. So, I was like, so here we are, send playing it elves me. Send today. Send it to me and we'll get it, you know. He said, just when you get it together, just keep it, you know, and I'll, you know, leave an extra cookie out for me. I said, okay. All right. Can, you're asking an awful lot, but okay. You know? Okay. So, with that being said, we got something cool in here that uh we're gonna have to put together today that'll be ready for andy on christmas morning i think it's gonna look like a late model when we're done what's the well, that's the plan <laughs> we'll see <laughs> <laughs> with us putting it together. yeah who knows <laughs> anyway it's a stroller a late baby late model stroller so we're gonna get into that and we're gonna continue stripping cars down kind of doing the off-season thing getting ready for next year Roll on, you got it. I'm just gonna yeah, hold the camera. Sure. There's four of us here, so there's no reason for me to have to actually touch it. It's off season time. Let's <laughs> get to get to work. Get to work. Right? Body's coming off, and I think one other thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna get the hubs off. I just I, thought about something. They're gonna want what? Why we're working on this car, right? Well, we told them we left them hanging. They had to guess. Okay, I think. The only thing we can tell, the only thing we can tell y'all, in the last video, we said y'all guess what you think we're doing here. We pulled, oh, on it. yeah, we pulled the 604 out last video. It's on the floor. Eventually, it's going in here. I'm not saying for sure that we're done with the 602 yet, but I do know Jesse's going to be running 604 quite a bit next year. So that's going over there. And then we left y'all hanging on what we're going to do here. Told y'all to guess. A lot of good guesses. I think, I think I saw some accurate guesses as well. Um, but, uh, I guess the easiest way to say it without saying too much is that this will be, when we get an engine, whatever engine that might be, the first one we get, next one we get, whatever you want to call it, it's probably going in here. Does that make sense? Listen, what? They'll just have to wait and see. All right, we can't, <laughs> yeah, all right. So we can't really say a whole lot just yet because we don't know a whole lot just yet. But I feel like there's a good chance this will be the first car we race next year. And it won't be with a crate engine. So we gotta get to work on it and get ready to go for next year. Yes. Yes. And this car just needs some TLC anyway. Yeah, this one's got the most laps. Well, more probably. laps than the supercar over there. Right. I don't know if it's got more laps than honestly this car over the last couple years has the most laps on it. So it needs to be needs gone service. through. It needs, it needs to be serviced real good here over the off season before we go racing. So you need to know. I don't mess up. Uh, you missed. Hey Jordan! What are you going to do, do, do that? like that? Now then. There we go. Oh. Jordan! You're hung up somewhere. What? There's think, one right there, Jesse. He's I right missed there. another one. Dang, Jesse. Golly. Hey, he's still recovering. Yeah, I've, I've been meeting him. Jesse is still recovering. Yeah, I, uh, so I wanted to, you know, tell everybody thank you for everyone that came by the Twitch channel for right. the uh, subathon. Um, and thanks to everyone for taking advantage and subscribing with Amazon Prime for free. Hopefully, so what, huh? What was the final result? So there? I streamed for 32 hours straight without sleeping. And then Joseph. Okay, I saw you nod off at one point, <laughs> and somebody wake behind you up behind the wheel. Yes. Okay, can I, I can was... put that clip in here. Have you seen it? Eventually, Joseph come over after about 32 hours screaming him and digging Z71. They came over. They took over uh, for about, I don't know, several hours. Dylan was there longer than I was. Yeah, I fell asleep. They streamed. And I honestly couldn't hardly sleep because watching them was hilarious. Yeah. 
Uh, I enjoyed anyway. it as well. But anyway, thanks to everybody so that stopped by. And your new possible. record's 32, 32 hours. 32 hours. And then they, Jesse and uh, Joseph and Dylan took over and went to 41 hours. Then they hours. went to 41. I was back for the last hour and a half, two hours. But yeah, we went all the way to 41 hours of nonstop streaming. Mostly I race and a little bit of Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. mostly I race and uh, I, I race for 32 hours. So let's do something crazy. So we did Cadillac CTSVs at Five Flags. I saw that. How that? Yeah, that was a disaster. <laughs> that was terrible. So how long would you say y'all played I racing for before you got tired of it? Probably about, probably, probably three hours. You played I racing. Jesse three played hours. for 32 played hours. For 32 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we raced beetle bugs at Eldora at one point. We raced really? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty fun. <laughs> anyway, 41 hours straight. Of entertainment, of uh, goofiness. Yeah, and it, like honestly, the, I, it never went under 150 viewers yeah. the entire time. So what he's trying to say is huge shout out yeah, to everybody. Thank you to everybody. And if you haven't tuned in yet, you need to. You got it going the right way. Mm, mm. Yeah, that always helps. There we there. go. It's pretty impressive that we're taking off a straight body right now. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Well, <laughs> the other side wasn't so good looking, but, you know. Man, I was worried for my safety there for a second. I'm glad I didn't slip. Yeah, that's what I thought was coming for sure. Okay, now we're ready. Yeah. You sure. Hold on. Up, right up, 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 up. Okay, now proceed. Are you want me to do it? Get the shot. Okay, now we can get under here and really get to work. But Joseph wasn't even waiting on it. He's ready. <laughs> well, what I would need to work on was free and clear up here. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh in the book. Good job. Yeah. All right, so we're pulling calipers and rotors. Well, hubs and rotors off of here. That's what we're doing? Well, I'm just going to get the hub with, with the rotor yeah. attached to it. Yeah, you kind of got to. You can't yeah. really, you know, do it any other way. Yeah, that there is a Wheelwood uh, brake caliper that's mm -hmm. been on here from the get-go. So it's got a couple it, seasons on it. But we are we have a new set of uh stop tech. Stop tech stuff over here in the box that when we put this thing back together we're gonna use to put it back together with. That way we can start, you know, getting all of our cars on the same brake system. Okay, what, these, uh, what he's saying is just, just pull the trailing arms off and we'll inspect our hinds and see if they need to place them. We're just gonna pull them off then. We're gonna pull them trailing arms off. To inspect the hinds. To inspect the hinds for wear and tear. Yeah, and then we can also inspect our bird cages for uh, wear and tear. Yeah, that. Make sure they bird cage. Exactly. Hey, John, you want to watch me? Over? Hey, I'm watching you. Oh, I thought you were over yonder. He's worried about the camera. See, that's Jesse worried y'all might miss something. No, y'all can't miss this. Why the... don't you miss? Uh, miss, miss? No, no. That's the wrong, <laughs> wrong word, Joseph. That ain't that pal. I don't mean on my rosy red lips. <laughs> yeah, just, just a little easy bump there. One more ten. That is our top right trailing arm. These hymns were new. I think they were new going into last year. Anyway, we'll take a look at them. See if they need replacing. Hey, what are you doing? Flying my jet. Oh, okay. Here's what it looks like. Nice. I have another one to show hey, you. Hey, you ready for Santa? Yes. There she goes. All right. There you go. There you go. And there is your bottom right trailing arm. Top right, bottom right. Make sure there's no, there's no, wood. no extra friction, Joey. On Make sure it's cage. not hung up. I don't want you bound up out there on the bird cage, and then you know I ain't gonna send you out there like that. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. We're taking care of you over here. <laughs> Your bird cage on the right side is in good shape. It's that's, wow, that's nice. Good. It's nice and free. Wow, that's good. It's a free bird. <laughs> 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 
That bird, that bird, that bird it, it ain't in no cage. Uh, no, that's a free bird. I ain't ever seen a bird. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> looks bent. It looks bent, huh? It is bent. Coming to find out. Alright. <laughs> and there is, this is bottom left, top left. That's bent for clearance purposes. It's supposed to be that way. <laughs> and if you add that up, that's four bar. That's why they call it four bar. The four bar system. Tell them to ask you something. Ask, ask if it was a three link. They don't want to be three bar, right? Well, you unbolt that one, you got a three link. That's right. That well, that actually, hold on. Which bar is it that ain't? Uh, Joseph, which bar makes it on not the right a three side? Bar, four link? What, what does a three link system look you like? You don't know? I don't, I've never run any kind of three link stuff. Just four bar stuff. Hey, what? I mean, what bar? <laughs> Someone is, explain. What bar is minus to make a three link? The Z link bar that I ran didn't have this. It just had these three links. But then so it had it's a backward. The bottom left? Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's that's what you call a Z link though. Oh. It's still four bars, just one of them goes backward, right? Yeah, the Z link goes this way. Right. Like you have a cage off the bottom here, and then the Z link goes to that. Huh. Yeah, we we deal with four bar stuff over yeah. here. I can't tell you about swing arm, Z link, yeah. three link. We did run. We did run when I first started. We ran in the hobby stock division. We ran leaf strings on old Camaro. Oh, that's old. Other than that, I've always been on four bar. Four stuff. bar. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm not sure if we confused y'all or not. By the way, this bird cage spins very freely. We're good over here. We got two free birds. Yeah, exactly. But there was your our breakdown of a four link system here, four bar, two trailing arms on each side. You also got the J bar and the torque arm, and your shocks and springs holding the, the rear end in. But there's all kinds of other options as well. Hurry, hurry! All right, so we gotta get the hubs off of here. Hubs. The hubs. These are the uh, grease field hubs here. Is this the only car that we have these on? Yep. Hmm. Oil field, I guess, is Did, the correct Did you say term. I get these, Joseph? Yeah, they'll, they'll probably go to the 604 car. This car? Yeah. So they, they're lightweight or something? Or something. Do you already have new hubs for this one? I got them on the list. All right, so this yeah. car... If we can get them, we'll be putting new hubs on here. New hubs, new rotors, new calipers, new brake pads. Jesse's getting these hubs. We'll figure out about the rotor situation, inspect and compare. Whatever, whatever. We'll look at his. Look at the ones we're pulling off here, and out of the four, out of that, the four best ones is what you'll get. Does that make sense? That works. All right. These. I guess I can show them over. Well, you can look over there at Jesse's. What's on his car? And look back over here, and you can see these are lightweight. Um, so you're carrying less weight there, less rotating weight, whatever, but they're also not quite as durable. I guess, I don't know. And I guess with the oil, it's also less friction, right? Less resistance, isn't that part of the idea? That's part of the idea. Yeah. I'm trying not to let it drop in my bucket. You did a fine job. Dump it! I am. What the... Bearing spacer. Yo, this is way different looking. Mm -hmm. Great stuff, man. Mm, it's lightweight, less resistance, or yeah, less. Uh, uh, I am. We'll do it. I am. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you is that I am. We talk about changing the rotor. Basically, you just unbolt, you know, however, whatever many bolts that is right there, slap a new one on, bolt it back down. Eight of them. Hey, well, good counting. Eight. Eight rotor bolts. Yeah. So our rear hubs, they're your normal grease, not oil filled. Yeah. Yeah. This is your uh, standard stuff like what Jesse's used to. Yeah. Ready for an axle? Bring it on out. Straight. You know what we'd find out if it was straight? We had our Earnhardt Technologies actual, actual checker. straightness checker. Yes, that was pretty cool. It still we got an eyeball. We're gonna roll it on the table. Let's go roll it on the ground real quick. Yeah. 
Baron look good? Yeah, All right, so there are your four hubs off the crate car. The front oil filled ones, those are gonna end up on Jesse's car. We'll put new ones like these rear, that just the grease hubs on it, on the front. Also probably putting new bearings in and like we said, changing out the rotors and calipers. There's old calipers there. Spare calipers. New calipers here. All we're gonna drain the fluid out. Oh, we got the fluid. We got everything on the hook. So we might as well be putting new good oh, yeah. fluid in while we're doing it too. There you go. Yep. It's gravity draining right now. All right. To a stopping point on that, we'll uh, keep everybody updated on it. Honestly, I don't. We can't say where our first. We're, there y'all go. That's all I know to say. <laughs> I want to be like, there it is. We're gonna get it ready. We'll be ready to race and tell them where and when. But. You'll, you'll know when we know. Just give it some time. <laughs> In the meantime, speaking of time, it's time to put this thing together. This is going to be fun. Oh boy. I tell you what, this is going to be highly technical. Time lapse. Time lapse. <laughs> y'all hang on tight. We're going to do a time lapse and put this thing together. I was gonna say when he when he breaks it, you told him to get in there, I was Uncle Jojo. Go for a lap. Ooh, I don't think he trusts you like wholeheartedly. Yeah. Well, there it is. Other than getting the bearings greased, <laughs> nice. Get the track. Track. She'll be looking good. Andy be looking good rolling around in that track. And now we can get a wrap to match whatever our wraps look like yeah. going into next season. Yeah, well, we got we got white sides. Yeah. Well, well, I guess they just finished their own color. <laughs> <laughs> and just in case, if you didn't ask Santa for one this year, mm -hmm. and Santa didn't, didn't I barely one. got mine in in time with right. him. Like, exactly. This was a, uh, this was a, a few weeks ago. I talked to him about it, and he's like, "I can get it, but it'll be you're gonna have to put it together." Right, because you waited too late. late. Yeah. You procrastinated. Yeah. But if you didn't get with Santa in time, you didn't get it on your list for Santa, and you want to go ahead and get one, here's where you can get it. Uh, from many late model strollers. I think they can be found on Facebook. Yep, on Facebook. I, you know, just go to many late model strollers on Facebook. Uh, message them on there, that type of thing. A couple different ways you can go about right. getting one, but so, that way it works too. I mean, right. Santa's is a little bit more special. Right. Mm -hmm. But but yeah. if you missed out on Santa, right. you can always right. go to the many late models. Right. <laughs> hey, it gets tight in here, boys. Alright, we gotta get some practice on the carts. Watch it, Jesse. Coming after you. Woo, watch out, watch out. Anyway, we're gonna get some practice on the crazy carts. What did you do? I think we'll have us a crazy cart race here sometime after Christmas. We'll see. We gotta get our hands on some more crazy carts. If you got some crazy carts, let us know. Anyway, whoo, I'm out of breath. Y'all be sure to like. Comment. Oh boy. Oh. Y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hey, tell them Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank y'all so much for watching. Happy New Year. We'll see you before the New Year, I hope. But Happy New Year if we don't. Like, comment, subscribe. Merry Christmas. Thank y'all for watching. See you later.